Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the most underrated PC building YouTube channel. Since crypto mining is basically dead and the GPU shortage is coming to an end, I was able to pick up this RTX 2080 Super and the Ryzen 5 5500 in order to build this insane gaming PC for under 1000 CAD or for your Americans out there, under 800 USD. So without further delay, let's cue the intro and get to the video. For the CPU, I am using this Ryzen 5 5500 that I got off AliExpress for $152. It is one of the latest CPUs from the AMD family in the 5000 series, but it only has up to Gen 3 PCIe support instead of the Gen 4 the Ryzen 5 5600 provides. The Ryzen 5 5500 has 6 cores and 12 threads, has a base clock of 3.6GHz and a turbo up to 4.2GHz. The performance of the CPU is basically in between a Ryzen 5 3600X and the Ryzen 5 5600X, which means it will still be great for content creation and gaming in 2022. For the motherboard, I was able to pick up this really nice Asus Strix B450 Gaming F motherboard on Facebook Marketplace for just 80 bucks. This motherboard has a really nice design and the logo on the motherboard is addressable RGB. With this MOBO, you could easily upgrade to a Ryzen 9 with other 5000 series CPUs in the future with minimal performance bottleneck from the VRMs. The only bad thing about this motherboard is that it does not have 3.5V ARGB pin header, but all that can be solved with a controller or a 3-pin to 4-pin ARGB adapter. To cool the CPU, I grabbed this Cooler Master A71C ARGB cooler from Amazon Warehouse along with RAM and ARGB fans for $129 in total. I only bought this because it is the bare minimum cooler that has ARGB on it for cheap, so the cooler should be upgraded when the CPU is upgraded. For the RAM, I just ordered brand new XPG 16GB kit clocked at 3200MHz from Amazon. It works as intended and there's a anime waifu on the packaging. Of course, if you can find cheap 3600MHz RAM, go with that instead because Ryzen CPUs like to use faster RAM. Now for the ARGB fans from the same Amazon order, it's a pack of 3 ARGB fans from up here. It includes a controller hub that can be connected to a case, reset switch, or LED switch, which is what I did with the CPU cooler ARGB also inserted into the hub. Now for the storage solutions, I ordered this 256GB M.2 SATA SSD off Amazon for 34 bucks. Since I am flipping this PC with an RTX 2080 Super in it, I had to go with more than just 128GB of capacity. Although this M.2 is not faster than regular SATA SSDs, it does save one extra cable from cable management and it helps out the PC since not a lot of people know that there's a difference between SATA M.2 and NVMe M.2. But of course, 256GB is not enough for a high-end gaming PC like this. Which is why I had to add in this 1TB hard drive that I got off Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks. Like I said in my other videos, 1TB should be good enough to store a lot of games and files. As you saw from the intro, I'll be pairing the Ryzen 5 5500 with this monster GPU back when the 2000 series GPUs were the latest and greatest. It is the ROG Strix RTX 2080 Super 8GB by Asus, which I got off Facebook Marketplace for $475 before the whole GPU mining crashed. So it was an insane deal back a couple of months ago. The performance of this card is similar to an RTX 3060 Ti but consumes a lot more power. In order to power this insane gaming PC, I decided to buy this Be Quiet 700W 80 Plus Bronze Unit from Canada Computers when it was on clearance for just 55 bucks. Not only was the power supply cheap, since it's from Be Quiet, it'll probably never blow up and with this power supply, the user of this PC is going to have a good amount of headroom for upgrades before needing a more powerful GPU. Lastly, the case. I am using this decent looking but not so great for airflow case by Zalman. The only reason I am using this case is because I got it for 50 bucks brand new off Facebook marketplace. I took the included 4 pin ARGB fans out which took off 25 bucks so that makes the case just 25 bucks. But with the bad airflow aside, the front glass design paired up with those up here ARGB fans I bought off Amazon makes the whole end result system look amazing. Another thing I did to the case was I added a stock fan in the back as exhaust, which a lot of PC flippers should just have some laying around in their inventory so I'm not going to include in the final price tally. And here's the price tally for today's build. If you pay attention in the intro, you'll notice that I had a RGB GPU support on the table that I was going to use for this build, but 
the GPU was too fat and there's no space left in the case, so I didn't add it in. And that was the Ryzen 5 5500 and RTX 2080 super build for under 1000 CAD or for under 800 USD. I was able to flip the system for 1300 CAD and with the build price with just 980 CAD, that means I got a profit of 320 CAD. Now, with that being said, if you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, still give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it'll help me out a lot. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.